Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hands-On Geospatial Analysis with R and QGIS 3.4. My name is Jin Wang, and I will be your instructor for the course. I am a master in geospatial sciences with experiences in research, teaching, data analysis, and visualization. I have six years of academic and three years of professional experiences working with geospatial products and communicating scientific information in appealing visual outputs using R and Python programming languages and geographic information system. I'm also a developer for online applications and interactive maps using a variety of packages in R. I regularly communicate with and share my knowledge to colleagues and professional users and have taught a wide range of audience. My creative and novel geospatial work has been awarded in international conferences, and I am also an active member and contributor in the R communities. In this course, we bridge the gap between GIS and R to maximize the capacities of your geospatial workflow. You will gain multidisciplinary geospatial and application development skills using the most up-to-date and popular suite of software packages with best coding practices. I will provide thorough guide using realistic examples and illustrative slides to complete the workflow. We will start the course by introducing you to the spatial data workflow and operating environments. From there, we'll query and download a population shape file. Clean the data and prepare for the analysis. Using the popular Tidyverse and SF packages in R, we analyze and visualize the data to create an interactive map. We will then acquire remotely sensed Landsat data file and analyze land cover for a region of your choice with machine learning using the semi-automatic classification plugin in QGIS and raster analysis with raster, rasterviz, and ggplot2 packages in R. Using the cartographic functionalities in QGIS, we'll finish with a professional map product and share your population data application on an open platform using the leaflet and shiny packages. At the end, we'll explore resources for creating innovative maps and critique on a variety of geospatial data products. This course is for GIS professionals geographers and R programmers who would like to take a step further in geospatial data analysis, reproducible and automated workflow, interactive map making, cartography and application development. Basic knowledge of R would be helpful, but it is not mandatory. I am passionate about creating beautiful visual products to communicate scientific findings efficiently. R language and QGIS are free and open source software that encourage knowledge sharing and code improvement. And that is why we're particularly interested in making the best of these products in the geospatial processing workflow. Let's get started for the upcoming series of hands-on geospatial analysis with R and QGIS 3.